Hey guys, welcome back to the Timber Forge. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own custom item crafting recipes that use the normal Minecraft crafting table. Now normally when you want to create a crafting recipe for your custom item, you would have to use some sort of workaround such as a floor crafting method where you chuck everything onto the ground, or maybe you would use a custom dispenser or a custom dropper as a custom crafting table to make your items in so you could actually detect the contents. But in this video, I'll show you how to make your crafting recipe by using an actual default crafting table by using advancements and custom recipes inside of your data pack. So what I created is a custom crafting recipe for the Mandalorian pistol that I created in my last video. So as you can see, when you combine these, it creates a knowledge book. But when you actually grab it, it gives you the Mandalorian pistol. And as you can see, this is an actual custom item with NBT that I was just able to craft in the normal Minecraft crafting table. And I will also release a template pack which you could use if you don't want to code it yourself, where you can basically just change up the items and duplicate some stuff in order to get whatever your item is. So I'll have that in the description for the download. Okay, so before I actually show how to actually create your own crafting recipes, I'm going to explain how it actually works. So if you just want to skip right to how to do it yourself, then just skip to whatever timestamp is going to be right over here. But if you want to stay to see how it works, then I'll explain that right now. So right now I'm inside of my data pack. So this is my data packs folder. And then this is crafting demo, which is the template. And so if you go into here, you'll see that there's recipe advancements and functions. So the first thing is recipes. This is the recipe that is actually added into the game, which is in the template is just three things on top of each other, a shaped crafting recipe, just a, a stone pressure plate on top of TNT on top of clay. And the result gives you a knowledge book. Now, for some reason, when you have the result of the crafting recipe be a knowledge book, it basically rewards you with unlocking it because that's what a knowledge book does it unlocks a recipe and apparently when you put it as the result of a crafting recipe it actually unlocks it basically and what i mean by unlock is that little book on the left side of your screen inside of minecraft that you use to open up all the recipes that's what i mean by unlock so after it unlocks there is an advancement which actually detects that you unlocked it so inside of advancements, there's this advancement here, which for, I have it called pistol unlock just because uh, that's what I was using for my Mandalorian thing. But this is just detecting. So trigger is if the recipe unlocked for the custom item, then it will run the reward. And so basically what happens is you craft the item, you get the knowledge book, you unlock the recipe this advancement detects that you unlock the recipe and as a reward for unlocking the recipe the advancement runs this function and now if you go over to the function you'll see that the function has four commands here this one takes the recipe away so that when you craft it again you'll be able to unlock it again and then you'll have the advancement get revoked so that when you craft it and you unlock the recipe you could actually unlock the advancement again so you could run this whole command again then you have your actual give command, which you're supposed to replace with whatever item you have. And then this just clears the knowledge book from your inventory. So when you grab it, you don't just fill up your inventory with a bunch of useless books. So that's all for how it works. So now let's get into how you can actually create your own from scratch. Okay, so of course, to get started, you want to actually start on the data pack itself. So as you can see, I'm inside of the data packs folder of my saves folder. And if you don't know how to get here, make sure you watch the how to create your own data pack video. But this crafting demo is what's going to be the template inside of the description of the video if you want to just download that for yourself and check out how it works. Now, let's get started with making our own. So go to my how to create your own data pack video and download the template if you want to use that. And then it should download. So after it downloads, just drag it into your world folder. And this should work on both Mac and Windows, so it doesn't really matter which one you do. And then drag the data pack template into there and name it like crafting demo 2. Okay, so now we have this in here. Let's just get some stuff in order. So data and then change the namespace to whatever. So I'm just going to call it crafting and then Minecraft tags functions tick.json crafting 
save that we don't actually need the loop but if you want your data pack to actually do anything other than just the custom crafting recipes you're gonna have to change that okay now go back to the namespace crafting and then now normally you just have functions here but we don't just want functions so now what we want to do is create a folder called recipes oh if i could spell recipes so now that we have the folder called recipes we have to actually make the recipe that's going to go in here so what you want to do is create the json file with whatever text thing you want to do i think on windows you could just do new file new text file but i'm just going to go with sublime text new file and let's save this or file save whatever you want to do i just did command s and save it into your crafting recipes and call it whatever your item name is i'm just going to call it item one dot json and save it and now let's actually generate the text that's going to be inside of this folder so now what we want to do is just go to your browser and look up knowledge book crafting generator and it should be one of the first ones it should just be called minecraft tools and then it should say knowledge book minecraft tools so once you go there click show or edit the command and then now you'll see that there's a thing to create a knowledge book so just delete these and then now create your custom crafting recipe so i'm just going to create a really simple random crafting recipe so i'm just going to put like a diamond on a stick or something i don't know let's see so not all of the items show up in here so you can just pick whatever items you want and it's really easy to change it later on so i'm just going to go i don't know a dispenser on top of a skeleton head i don't know with a hay bale on both sides why not and you could change it later on really easily i'll show you how to do that so now all you have to do is click generate your crafting and hit this little indent thing so you could actually read it and then copy paste this now you have to be very careful here so what you want to do is make sure that you delete this line that says tag it doesn't i mean it doesn't really do anything but it it kind of messes it up a little bit depending on it. it's kind of weird just just delete it so it doesn't cause you any problems and now here you could see how it actually works so the way that it works is this is basically the crafting recipe so i have a shaped crafting recipe and it basically puts spaces where there doesn't need to be items if it's a shaped crafting recipe and then you just put whatever items here so x o x so it's basically just a key so basically hashtag dispenser and then zero is just a skull or that's an o or something and then just the x's on the side just mean the hay blocks so you could just change this to whatever you want so dispenser i could go to minecraft diamond and then skull i could change to let's see what do i want I'll do obsidian. So it's going to be obsidian with a diamond on top and hay blocks on the side. So I'll save that and then make sure it says knowledge book and you deleted the tagline. So save it and close that. You don't need that anymore. So now what you should have is a crafting recipe inside of your recipes folder. So now the next thing that we need to add is the advancement. So what you want to do is create a new folder which is called advancements. So you should have functions, recipes, and advancements. So now what you want to do is go to your browser or go to the link in the description and just look up advancement generator and go to the one that says advancement.thedestruction.ca or whatever. And so now once you're here, so it'll probably look like this when you get here, just click add child and then click on the child one because this is the root one and you only need this if you're actually creating a full advancement thing but we're not actually creating real advancements it's just a crafting thing to unlock it so what you want to do is go to display and click utility it'll disable the display so now what you want to do is go to criteria and then click the plus sign and then go down to the one that says recipe unlocked right here now you have to name the criteria it doesn't matter what you put here i'm just going to put unlocked or something and then now you have your actual recipe which you have to add so go back to here and check what it is so inside of recipes what is the path this is just sitting inside of the recipes folder so i'm just going to call it item one and you don't have to add json so it's crafting colon item one so crafting item one 
That's all you need to do. And then for requirements, you can leave that blank. And then for rewards, that's where you actually want to run the function. So now what you want to do is go to function and then add whatever function you want to do for your give command. So inside of functions, we're going to add another file here and we're just going to call it give item one or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you call it. So I'm going to call it crafting colon give item one or give underscore item one. And now that's all you should need. So click view JSON. And now you should see this. You'll see criteria unlocked and then make sure it says trigger Minecraft recipe unlocked. And then make sure it says recipe and then the file to um, the file path to your crafting recipe. So crafting colon item one, and it should have the file path to your give item. So crafting colon give item one. Now just copy this and go over to your advancements folder and create a text file inside of there. Paste this in and then do file, save as, and then I'll save it as item one advancement. And then I'll put it instead of in recipes, you want to put it into your advancements folder, of course. Make sure that you actually put dot JSON to the end of it or else it won't actually work. And now what you should see is that when you go into the game and you reload it, whoops, <laughs> that's the, that's the, the loop function test. So that, that makes sure that the data pack's actually working. So just reload again, and I'm going to disable the other data packs. So now if we go here, let's see, what, what did I do? I made it with a diamond, obsidian, and what was a hay bales. So now you should see I get an advancement when I make the recipe. So here, and then there we go. See, I unlocked the recipes. And it doesn't actually notify you of unlocking the advancement, but it did run. So what we want to do is go... In, back into our functions, whatever we put in as our function file, we have to actually add that function into here. So let's go to Sublime Text or whatever you're using, new file, and let's just call it give item one dot mc function. And save it into the functions folder. And now there's a few lines of code that we have to add. So the first one we have to add is the one that revokes the actual recipe. So what we want to write down is recipe take at s and then whatever the item recipe file is. So the file to our recipe is crafting because that's the namespace and then the recipe is item one. So just crafting colon item one. And now just go back into here crafting item one. And then now we also have to take away the advancement. This just ensures that the player could actually do it multiple times. If you only want the player to be able to craft it once, then you don't need to add this, but you probably want them to be able to craft it more than once. So do advancement revoke at s only, and then the path to item one. So just put the path here. So write down crafting colon, and then I believe I called it item one advancement and then clear the knowledge book so clear at s null minecraft knowledge book and that's just so they don't have a bunch of books in their inventory for no reason and then do the give command so give at s minecraft i'll just do stone for now so now what we have to do, since we just ran the test and we didn't revoke it, we have to make sure we run the function. So I'm just going to go slash, you only should have to do this once if you were testing it in between. So function, what was it? It was craft, crafting, give item one. Now if I test the recipe, as you can see, every time I click this, I get the stone. And if you shift click, it just puts all of the books into your inventory that you can and then gives you all of the items. So that's crafting recipe completely done. 
Now you can just change this give command to whatever you want. And if you want to add more items, what you could do is all you have to do is duplicate this, duplicate the function and duplicate the recipe. So that's basically it for how to create your own custom item. So I hope you guys are able to use this in your own creations. Just create your own custom crafting recipes. But I'll see you guys next time.